Welcome to Concept Medicine. In today's tutorial, we are going to look at the Laplace Law, a simplified law that has so much interest in the world of medicine. So you should know that the Laplace Law was designed by a French scholar by the name Simon Pierre Laplace. And what does the law state? The law states that the minimal intraluminal pressure needed to stretch the wall of a hollow tube is inversely proportional to the radius of the tube considering surface tension is presumed to change a little so it tells you that if you are looking at the minimum intraluminal pressure it is going to be inversely proportional to the radius of that tube that you want to uh, stretch the wall it tells you that the minimum intraluminal pressure that you need would vary inversely with the radius what does that tell you it also indicates that the larger the tube the lesser the minimal intraluminal pressure that you need to stretch the wall and the smaller the tube the greater the minimal intraluminal pressure that you need to stretch its wall so now let's look at the application of the Laplace law in the world of medicine looking at this question the question reads why is the cecum the most likely site of perforation in an inflammatory condition now if you look at the cecum it's part of the bowel then you should know that if you take the bowel from the stomach, that is the duodenum, coming to the jejunum, coming to the ileum, going to the cecum, you have the appendix here, and ascending colon, transverse colon, descending, uh, sigma colon, rectum, and the anus. We will say that we have to make reference to the diameter of the alumen. And in that case, we will use a simplified rule, the rule of threes, which is going to be explained in a different manner, meaning that everything will be divisible by three. So in that case, we will say that the lumen, the diameter of the lumen of the small bowel is approximately 3 centimeters. That of the large bowel is approximately 6 centimeters. And then that of the cecum is 9 centimeters. So if you should use this formula, you realize that the cecum will require the most minimal intraluminal pressure to distend or stretch it wall so it tells you that if the pressure in the lumen along the bowel is the same in an inflammatory condition then it tells you that the most minimal will be needed in the cecum to stretch the cecum and in that case in stretching the cecum if its elastic limit is reached then it can easily perform it can easily perforate. It tells you that to descend the cecum to the point where it can easily perforate, you will need the least of intraluminal pressure along the bow because the diameter of the cecum is the greatest, 9 centimeters. And you should know that to get the radius, you have to divide the diameter by 2. And if you should do that across board, you realize that a small bow will have 1.5 centimeters the large bowel 3 centimeters and the cecum 4.5 centimeters and if you should insert that in this relationship realize that the intraluminal pressure that the cecum would require to distend or be stretched would be the least meaning that if you take the segment of the bowel and equal pressure is applied to the wall the cecum would require the least of minimal pressure to distend or stretch leading to its perforation all right so in that case looking at the cecum it has a, a diameter of 9 centimeters making the radius 4.5 and it's the greatest it means that the threshold it threshold minimal intraluminal pressure needed to distend it will be the least according to formula so if the same pressure that is 10 millimeters of mercury for example is applied across the segment of the bowel it means that the 10 millimeters of mercury will be able to uh, overcome the threshold minimal intraluminal pressure needed to distend the cecum and that could easily distend the cecum stretching the wall where it can easily burst. 
I believe we've made a lot of sense out of this. Kindly make sure to subscribe, share, like, and also comment the next concept you'd like to see in my next video. My name is Dr. Dell and this is Concept in Medicine.